Part of the beauty of the Coral Coast lies in its stunning contrast of colours. White sandy beaches fringed by aqua waters and all overlooked by the red rocks of the Cape Range. And that's where you'll find the spectacular Yardi Creek Gorge cutting through the landscape. It's the only gorge in the area that contains water and one of the best ways to see it is by boat. It gives you a completely different perspective than the walking trail up the top and a great view of the sheer size of these cliffs. Peter Mayer, or Boxy as he's better known, runs the Yardi Creek boat tours twice a day. He grew up in Exmouth and has a wealth of knowledge about the region. Boxy, even as a visitor, you get the feeling this is such a special spot. It must have a lot of significance for the local people as well. Yeah, very much significant. Um, it's the only waterway on the Cape. And what about with the Aboriginal people? There must be a lot of history here too. Yeah, quite a lot of history. They actually had a fish trap that we've got in the creek around the corner from here. The Aboriginal people used to place the rocks across the creek, shut the water off, walk up the creek, press the fish against the wall, and that's how they used to spear and trap a lot of their fish in the creek. Turns out Boxy also has a pretty sharp pair of eyes pointing out rare black-footed rock wallabies relaxing in the walls of the gorge. There are around 30 wallabies that live here in the gorge and they are mostly nocturnal but you will see them pop out during the day to get some sun and bask in the warmth. I reckon they've got a pretty good view from up there as well. This year I've already counted probably four new joeys in the pouch. And you actually do a bit of work with Department of Parks and Wildlife as well? Yeah, we do monitor with the guys at uh, Depor. We uh, do a chart every day with where the wallabies are and if they've got a young in their pouch or if they're um, sitting or hopping. or So we keep a, quite a good record of the wallabies and what they're up to. It's like a little family. Yeah, it's a great little family. <laughs> Yardi Creek is also a great spot for bird lovers, with egrets, ospreys and sea eagles all nesting here. And seeing the gorge by boat is an eco-friendly option that means we get to enjoy it with minimal impact on the environment and local wildlife. And you've been here for a few years now. Has the creek changed during that time? It has changed quite a lot in the last year. We've had a cyclone and a lot of rain. And as you can see by further up near the ocean, the creek has opened up for the first time in probably three years. So cars that normally come across from south of the creek can't get across at the moment because it's flowing to the ocean. It's very, very tidal. And it's all salt water here. Yeah, it is all salt water. And um, as you can see by the, the walls, the, the rock figs grow along the walls and um, they just survive by the moisture. A slow meander down the creek is not only a great way to relax, but it allows you the chance to quietly absorb its natural beauty. When you stop to think that these rock formations have been here for thousands of years, this truly is a magical place and it's one of the highlights on the Coral Coast you have to come and see for yourself.